emotions. What are your emotions creating? Emotions are creating something. What are they creating? Emotions are meant to be felt. Anger, sadness, joy, blissfulness, if you will. All meant to be felt from one end of the scale to the other. But what are your emotions creating? And have you pondered what your emotions are creating within you and for you, if you will, beyond you, beyond you? Tracy is receiving source energy. Tracy is receiving collective consciousness. Tracy is the medium in which source energy, collective consciousness, eternal light beings can speak through Tracy. Tracy has moved aside, allowing the, we want to say, connection, the expansion, the grandness to receive words of wisdom. And Tracy will say, it feels like having a conversation with the heavens. All good things from above, she will say because that is how it truly feels to her. So emotions are creating something. We have chosen these topics, and we say these because there are different emotions, so there'll be different segments to share. We want to make the segments very short because we know that ones are <laughs> busy lives in a rush, if you will. Emotions are creating something. We would like ones to ponder the vibration of all things. The vibration of all things. So vibration of all things. Emotions are a vibration. Everyone would agree. When someone is happy, they just radiate happiness. And it is easy to see that one is happy. If one is angry, oh, going about their day angry, it doesn't take much for another to understand that one is in the world of anger. So what does your emotions create within your body and beyond? And we say beyond because if you think of a vibration, Think of a ripple in a pond, dropping a pebble in a pond and the ripple going out, extending out. So the ripple has gone out. A vibration, a vibration. So if one is holding anger within and presenting anger, presenting it, where is it going? Think of it as a vibration. Now, we can apply the same to happiness, joy, excitement, fill it in, sadness, resentfulness, frustration. It all starts within and moves outward. So if you take the metaphor of a ripple in a pond, the pebble is dropped and perfect expansion of a ripple, expansion going outwards. You would agree then, if you were the center off, if you were standing in the center off and you dropped the ripple and you were able to move forward in the water, you would move into, we would say, the beautiful circle of the ripple effect. You would walk into it. So it holds true then that when one is feeling anger and we're just choosing anger because it is easy to reach, easy to experience. It starts from within and goes outward like every, every emotion. So that is why when one is truly angry, it stays for a while because they are moving. It is an intense emotion. It is an intense. The ripple effect is strong. In fact, it's not a beautiful circle. It's a jagged edge you would see how jagged it is. Joy and blissfulness would be a beautiful expansion, like a ripple in a pond. But anger, resentment, frustration, mm, rage, if you will, that vibration is not sort of that perfect circle. 
that vibration is rigid. It goes out. It's very, it's very harsh. And ones would agree. So if you are feeling any one thing, anger is one that is intense. It's intense. It's intensity. And it is true that there are different levels of anger, just as there are different levels of happiness. Different levels of anger, raising, 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 until it is rage. So that jagged edge is always there, and it's, and it's harsh. It's jagged, pointy. And so one, if they get caught up in anger, and then they keep their anger, now some will be angry for a day, a week, some are angry for decades. Some are angry for decades, and it shows in everything they do. So if you think of emotions as vibration, and then you take a step, what are you walking into? What are you walking into? So we started these little segments. We'll just wrap this one up because we're wanting to keep it, <laughs> keep it short, if you will. We want to create a space to create peace in one's heart, peace in one's mind, peace on the planet. Is it possible? What if ones could remove anger? It is meant to be felt. Yes, every emotion is meant to be felt in physical form. Where would you be if you didn't have emotions? And there are some walking around, if you will, so disconnected from their emotions, we call them the walking dead. They don't feel any one thing. They do not feel joy. They do not feel sorrow. They are empty shells walking, walking, living their day. And what is the vibration? And is it possible? It is all a choice. And it is a choice. All of it. All of it. Something creates a space of anger. It is natural to have the reaction, if you will, of anger. It becomes a choice when one chooses to hold the anger as opposed to releasing the anger, holding the anger, day after day after day after day. And what does that do to the physical apparatus, if you will? What happens within one's body when one is living in the intensity of anger most of the day? And that will be segment two. So we're going to wrap it up. Really good, really good. There is great love for you. <laughs>